That's Gillum here, and I just finished watching uh, an episode of Bad Kids Show, and if you if you guys haven't seen that, uh, what is it called, a podcast, you should check that out, and I'm going to be using the MSR, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Team Deathmatch on Foundation, and I was eating this game, so excuse the random, just like, me randomly stopping, and let me go ahead and talk about my class setup real quick. I don't have any attachments on the MSR yet, but I do have the proficiency impact. My secondary is a USB 45 extended mags, and my perk setup is going to be extreme conditioning, quick jaw, and dead silence. And I'm going to be using the flash grenade and the throw knife as my equipment. And my perk setup on my character is going to be. I already said that, didn't I? Yes, I did. And but my I'm gonna be using the special security package with the kill streak setup, sleight of hand, scavenger and blast shield. I think, I think scavenger is my second one. I don't know why it would be, but it, it might be. But uh, let me go ahead and talk to talk to you about some tips and tricks with the MSR real quick. This gun is probably, in my opinion, the best gun to quick scope with in the game, based on all of my times quick scoping. And this isn't really a highlight video for my quick scoping at all. It was just a game that I got that I thought was pretty good. And I thought it was a good gameplay, so it's going to be up on YouTube. But yeah. That guy kept coming there, so easy kills. But back to tips and tricks with the MSR. Uh, you really need. You, well, you really don't need quick jaw to quick scope with this gun. I, I can do it perfectly fine with like assassin. I've, I will actually have to put up a video of me doing that sometime. I'm pretty good at it. But usually when you're quick scoping, most people use sleight of hand, quick jaw, and dead silence. Me personally, I like using extreme conditioning and quick jaw because I don't reload after every single kill like people do when they use the sniper rifle. I don't know why you do that, but I don't do that whatsoever. Unless I just, unless nobody else is around and I can reload, then I might, but I don't reload after every kill, so I don't really have any use for sleight of hand starting off. But I do have it in the special skills you package, just for the reason that I can, usually after like two kills, like right here, as you can see, I'll be trying to get two kills, I ended up shooting basically a whole clip off, and that usually is the case, because I'll miss stupid shots like that. But yeah, uh, for any of the snipers who are going to put scoping, I recommend using the proficiency impact or focus, whichever one you want. I personally prefer impact if I'm going for like wall bangs and stuff like that. But well, obviously, but and when I'm usually just playing around because if I die, I die, and focus doesn't really help with a sniper. Just well, in my personal opinion, it doesn't because of the fact that. You, you're like right there, if I would have gotten shot, I would, it wouldn't have mattered because of the fact that it's a sniper, I have one shot, and I'm probably going to miss anyway, so there's never a point in having focus, so I use impact. Uh, for attachments on the MSR, exclusively, I recommend using either the, ex well, no, I just recommend the extended mags, honestly. That's the only thing that I ever use, unless I'm actually leveling it up. And, yeah... I don't know what that dude was doing. He was just kind of chilling. But yeah, I just finished watching. Like, what is it? Here, let me check. Uh, Bad Kid Show episode seven called "Dead Babies," and the reason why it's called that is because they were talking about the um, a recent story in the news. I don't remember the person. Well, the first your question, but she just had her kid, and it was like not long <clears throat> after the baby was born and she had down like a fifth of I think it was vodka like a fifth of a bottle of vodka and she was like she was in a drunken stupor and she fell asleep and she suffocated the baby because of it and she was in charge with involuntary manslaughter because of this and they were like comparing it to some other stuff and how this one big movie well not movie show but uh this big TV star like bashed her about it and because of that, and all of her followers like telling her to go fuck off and everything, that she uh, she ended up lighting herself on fire and killing herself, which 
in my opinion, the news person should be punished, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. This has been Dust Golem. Hope you liked the last kill cam. Peace.